All right, this video was uh, for Wasim uh, to answer your question as far as how you wire up these modules to uh, control your device. If these are the modules that you're using, this IR module, this time a control board to control, I don't know what kind of device you got going on there, but I'm going to try to help you out, okay? Listen, you should really have knowledge, working knowledge of low and high voltage circuits um, before engaging in any of this. I cannot be held responsible if uh, somebody screws up because they do not use the proper procedures or techniques to wire this up and they damage the boards, they start a fire, or they electrocute themselves or somebody else. Uh, Ray KD2 IBP will not be held responsible for that. Cannot be. Okay? So make sure you have some working knowledge of how circuits work. All right? But assuming that you do have this knowledge and you're going to do it safely, all right, all these colors are isolated. Okay? Red never connects to black, blue never connects to black or red, and so forth and so on, okay? So basically what's going to happen is you're going to have your control, your uh, voltage to power up this board coming in to the uh, input, okay, positive, and then you're going to have your 5-volt DC going to your negative, okay? Now that also ties in with your signal, okay, your negative signal. So what happens here is when your IR module detects uh, coming, it's coming in close proximity to a reflector uh, that causes uh, this module to activate. It's going to take the voltage, the input voltage, okay, and it's going to route it down this leg, the blue leg, into the positive pole of the trigger, okay. Now the positive pole of the trigger uh, is going to close with the negative, all right, and that's gonna cause the timer to begin its timing sequence that you had programmed into it, okay? When that sequence is done, let's say it's uh, gonna be, uh, it's gonna do a countdown for three seconds. At the end of the three seconds, you're gonna add power to, to uh, power up this device. I don't know what the device is that you're using, but make sure that the power going to this end of the board is enough to satisfy the device requirements in both voltage and amperage, okay? So what you put into this side is what's going to come out when this relay closes. Right now it's wired up in a normally open situation, okay, where this contact remains open until the sequence is complete. When the three second timer goes down, it closes the normally open circuit and energizes this device. Okay, wired up in this configuration. If you want the opposite to be true, where you want this device to be energized until the timing sequence uh, is satisfied, at the end of the three seconds, the normally closed contact will open and de-energize the device. Okay, um, that's up to you how you want to do it. I hope this answers your question. If you have any more questions, feel free. Uh, also, if you look on my YouTube page, just goes for anybody. If I'm helping you out and you appreciate it and you want to buy me a beer, feel free to donate a dollar or two to my uh, to my donate button, and I would appreciate it. All right. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, feel free. I'm always here. KD2YBP, clear for now.